pressing the newsmakers for the honest answers. It's the Mike Hoskin Breakfast on air and on iHeartRadio. News Talk ZB. It is 7 past 7 Monday morning. Good morning if you're just joining us. The Prime Minister uh, straight into it this morning as well. It's a very good morning to you. Good morning to you. Have the police been acting illegally in this lockdown? No, no. Um, the Attorney General has been satisfied that uh, all of the um, uh, undertakings we've put in place off the back of the epidemic notice um, and, of course, the national emergency powers have all been appropriately used. Uh, and so, uh, no, we haven't had that concern. Uh, without getting into too much technical detail, of course, along the way we've always been making sure that we're adding greater clarity to the use of those notices. But actually, Mike, looking at the behaviour of the public, you will have seen that People have been complying, and I think they've been complying because they know it's for their health and their well-being. So Mike Clement's emails, which have been leaked, uh, his concerns are misplaced. No, so what, I haven't seen the dates, and again, I don't want to get into too much of the technicality around this. Uh, we issued a, a notice, an epidemic notice was issued by the Director General of Health, and then further clarity was given to the Section 70 use of those powers, Mike. Um, and overall, though, your question is whether or not they've been legitimately used. Uh, my view is yes, uh, and greater clarity was put around that to give us that assurance that they were being used appropriately. And as you've seen from the evidence, most New Zealanders have been complying because they know they've been used for their best interest. There's a question down the track, Mike, around whether or not epidemic notices generally are fit for purpose for a pandemic, and that's what some of the legal fraternity, I think, have been raising yeah. questions I'll, around. I'll come to that. That's Andrew Geddes. I'll come to that in a moment. Looking. Why, why haven't you, you released Crown Law's opinion? Oh, look, that's that's a metaphor the Attorney General um, he deals with. Uh, yeah, but he says he's not going to. Why not? Oh, because we tend not to, to release um, uh, things that are private legal advice that we receive, but I leave those decisions to the Attorney General. Uh, as far as Andrew Geddes is concerned, he speaks more broadly beyond the police that this whole thing might have been illegal when you're talking about containing people who are not ill and uh, shutting businesses who don't want to be shut. Are you confident, hand on heart, that this is illegal, that this is legal? Yeah, I I am confident, but I think what the, the general issue they're raising around epidemic notices or the way that legislation is designed, it's generally designed for individuals as opposed to a global pandemic. Uh, and so as with everything, Mike, I do think we need to take a step back in the aftermath and just look at whether or not some of that legislation was fit for purpose. We've also been very explicit that as we move down the alert levels, actually we probably need specific enforcement powers. We shouldn't rely on powers that are there for, a, for that really emergency-style situations. When we are into more of the management of COVID-19, we need to give a separate legal footing to some of those powers. So we're working on that. Do you